1982, I remember this like yesterday, he garnered national attention with a feud with comedian actor Andy Kaufman, who played Latka Gravis on the hit sitcom Taxi. Kaufman was known for interjecting a large dose of psychology into his comedy and was drawing the ire of fans by participating in intergender bouts. Lawler was not pleased with Kaufman's off-color shenanigans, and things took a serious turn in April of 1982, when Lawler put Kaufman in the hospital with a neck injury after a bout in Memphis. A few months later, on July 28th, the two appeared on Late Night with David Letterman. That was a great show in the 80s where Lawler slapped and then bitch slapped Kaufman only to receive a cup of hot coffee to the face in return. The angle developed perfectly and had everyone talking. All the way across the country in Northern California, pro wrestling experienced a series of changes between 79 and 82. That established promoter Roy Shire, an ex-grappler from Hammond, Indiana, just a quick story about Hammond, Indiana and yours truly, I had a chance to manage and work against the legendary Terry Funk in the Hammond, Indiana Civic Center for the WWZ World Wrestling Zone. That's right, yours truly and Terry Funk as I managed Tommy Capone. What a match. And I took that left tape fist right between the eyes and several tear shots to the head by the unbelievable Funk. I was honored and privileged, though. And Funk is from Hammond, Indiana. So how about tying all that up? for history and why you're actually here and who the fuck I was. Humble, blessed, and fortunate. I'll say that to say this, because I tell it like it is. He drove attendance upwards with solid booking and impeccable performers, and his annual battle royal at the Cow Palace was a must-see event in the late 60s and 1970s. He joined the NWA in 1968 and was named to the board of directors the following year. In 1971, he also had a stint as second vice president and with 